Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be showing you how you can sync your Macs, desktop and documents folders with iCloud to all your other devices. So by other devices I mean your iPads, your iPhone and even your other Macs. So this is basically a feature introduced in macOS Sierra and the idea behind it is that you can save something on your desktop or documents folder and not necessarily in iCloud Drive but it will still be synced across to all of your devices so it's a way of con connecting your devices even further than iCloud Drive previously did so firstly before you can get started with this feature you have to set it up now when you first update to macOS Sierra you will actually be prompted or asked whether you want to uh, use this feature but in case you've uh, skipped past that or perhaps you've bought a new Mac in with it installed then this may not be set up in your case so I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you go down to System Preferences, open that up, and go to where it says iCloud over here. And from here, what you're going to want to do is go to where it says Options. If I click on that, and here I have a list of all the kind of various programs which I have currently, which uh, sync with iCloud. Now a new one here at the top. Obviously, you can see it says it has a little Finder icon, and it says Desktop and Documents folders. So make sure that's uh, checked over here with the tick. And once you've done that, you can hit done and close out of system preferences because that's that part done. So now I'm actually going to show you how you can put something on your desktop or documents folder and how it works in real life. So I'll show you a sort of live demo. So I've got a pages document here. And if I go to the top and save this, what I'll do is I'll actually just save it as uh, iCloud Sync. Oh, test if I can type properly, and I'll just save that. So I'll save that. That's now saved. I can now close out of this page document, quit pages, and that's now uh, saved. Now, as you can see, it's added on my desktop, just like you're used to seeing. So that has that. Nothing's changed in terms of um, where it's saved and how it looks. But now I'm going to show you what it will look like from my iPad. So I'm here in my uh, on my iPad, and I've just gone into the iCloud Drive app on iOS. And as you can see, there's now a new desktop folder, which is also next to the documents folder, uh, which has also been added. And if I tap on the this new desktop folder, it will take me into my essentially what's on my desktop on my Mac. So here you can see I've got the three previous items, app, folder, and I've got a certificate there. But as you can also see, there's this new iCloud sync test document, which I just created in front of you. If I tap on that, obviously it will open pages up because that's the relevant application. But obviously, if it was another file type, it will open up the appropriate application. Or obviously, it will ask you uh, what you'd like to open with. And I can go ahead and edit it, and obviously, my changes get synced back onto my Mac via iCloud. So you get how it works. Now, it also works the other way. So if I wanted to put a file from my iPad into uh, this iCloud Drive section and into the desktop folder it would go straight to my Mac and I'd be able to continue working on it from there. Now this is a great feature I think and it also works if you have multiple Macs. Now unfortunately I don't have multiple Macs even though I'd love to. Uh, I just have my MacBook but if you have multiple Macs then you can obviously imagine how this would be very useful so you can kind of effectively have your desktop synced across all your different Macs so you don't have to keep worrying about oh, which Mac have you saved it on or have I put it in iCloud because it would always be everywhere with you. Now a word of warning if you are going to be using this feature and you do tend to store a lot of things in your documents folder or on your desktop then you probably should consider upgrading your iCloud storage. I mean if you look at the bottom of my iPad screen you can see it says I've got 151 gigabytes free and that's because I've opted for the 200 gigabyte iCloud storage which is £2.49 a month. Uh, obviously You'll need to have maybe not 200 gigabytes. I've obviously opted. I've opted for that because of the types of files that I actually put into iCloud. I tend to store everything in iCloud as opposed to just some of my content. But obviously, if you don't store as much stuff, maybe you just back up your devices. 50 gigabytes may be fine, which is the next storage tier up from the baseline of five gigabytes. But that's it for this video. Uh, it's very simple and very useful. This uh, trick. But if you've got any questions or comments on it or you can't get it set up or you're having trouble with files not syncing or and so on, then do get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video. Don't forget to comment and like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.